Welcome to our video series on Advanced Features in Microsoft Word. In this video, we'll explore numbered lists. As well as bulleted lists, there are also numbered lists. It's a similar concept, but instead of bullets, there are numbers. So you can just click that and start a numbered list. So 1, and just press Enter at the end of each one, and 2, and 3, and 4, and when you're done, you can just hit Enter twice, just like with a bulleted list, and again, you can hit Shift and Return as one way of spacing out the bullets, for example. And if you change your mind about having a numbered list, just select it, and click here again. OK, let's select that and delete it and start again. Also, you can go to Format, Bullets and Numbering. And this time, if you go to the Numbered tab, we have different numbering options. So you have 1, 2, 3 numbers with a period after each one, or 1, 2, 3 numbers with a bracket or parenthesis after each one, or 1, 2, 3 that appears essentially in Roman numerals, which we'll test in a minute, and ABC in several permutations, including lowercase, and what appears to be Roman numerals in lowercase. So let's try this one and select it, and again, we can customize and make some more advanced changes here. Number format. Choose the font again if we wish, and choose the number style options. Start with number one or not, number position, and so on. Let's cancel that, and if we OK that, OK, so one, press Enter, two, three, four, five, and so on. And if you change your mind about the style of the numbered list, you can easily select it, and if you want, you can easily switch between numbered lists and bulleted list by clicking that, or back to numbered list, or go to the format menu and go to bullets and numbering and make changes here. For example, you can switch back to bulleted list by making your choice, and let's choose that and OK that or go back to Format, Bullets and Numbering, and Numbering, and let's go with ABC lowercase with a closing bracket or parenthesis after it, and OK that. So that's how the numbered lists work, and you can see how easy it is to change between a numbered list and a bulleted list. And also, importantly with a numbered list, if you don't start the list further down the document, such as list number 2, and let's start a new numbered list, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Sometimes you may want the second list to pick up where the first list left off. So we can select it, Format, Bullets and Numbering, and here you see in the Numbered tab is List Numbering. Restart numbering or continue previous list. So if we choose this and OK, and there we go, it carries on where the last list left off. So A, B, C, D, E, F, and then it carries on with G, H, I. And of course, you can change your mind about that. Simply select it and go to Format, Bullets and Numbering and go back to Restart Numbering. And actually, we can change the numbering format or the listing format as well. Change it to this, for example. Actually, we have to tick this, Restart Numbering, OK, and there you go. It instantly takes effect. 